Hi there, uh, this is Steve Strongman, and uh, thank you very much for uh, all the emails for people asking me how to play some of my songs. Um, I did another video about a song called River, and um, another one that people are asking about um, is a song called The Birthday Song. Um, so um, I'm going to play the birthday song, and then we'll talk about some of the techniques and chords that I use in this song. I won't play all of the song, I'll just get more into, into the ideas that I had behind it. Um, if you do want to hear the song uh, totally, you can uh, just go to my website, which is stevestrongman.com, and uh, check it out. So this um, this is also in uh, the guitar is in an open G tuning, and um, for details on how to get your guitar from standard tuning into open G tuning, you can probably just go back to my other video. I did that in, in the video for River. You can have a look at, at that. So uh, open G is one of my favorite tunings um, when I'm playing acoustic. I find that uh, sometimes when I'm writing, it, it helps me just to put the guitar into an open tuning so I'm not thinking about chord shapes as much and I'm just letting the, the sounds uh, sort of lead me and lead my ear a little bit more than just standard shapes or chords. So. But uh, the chords are really straight ahead. I'll just play a little bit of the song and sing a little bit of the song and then, uh, then I can explain to you uh, what I'm thinking in it. Birthday song. Basically the whole song, and then uh, there's there's a lot of other verses. But for the purposes of this video, I think that uh, I think we'll just go talk about the guitar playing. Um, so again, it's in open G, and and really what what my left hand is doing in this song it is uh, it's really based on three chords, and it's it's uh, it's quite simple. The first chord I'm going to refer to the names of notes and chords as if the capo is not there. The song is actually. Um, in the key of B flat um, because it's an open G and it's capoed at the third fret. Um, but I'm going to refer to it as if it's in the key of G. So uh, the first chord is G, which is the one chord, and the, the second chord is um, a C chord, but it's actually a C over a G bass. Um, by that I mean you're playing a C note on the second string and you're playing an E note on the fourth string, and uh, you don't play a C root, which is that, you play that. Now what I was also doing, sometimes I go back and forth depending on exactly how, uh, how I'm feeling at that moment, I guess. <laughs> I also play a barred uh, four chord using the slide. is up here on the, which technically it's the 8th fret, but if that, if we're referring to it from the, the um, capo being 0, it's the 5th fret. So sometimes I play. And the other chord now is the 5 chord, which is um, a sus chord, a suspended chord. It's like a D chord. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just spell it out to you the chords that, it, that that I use or the notes rather that I use in this chord. And it's it's um, the sixth string open, which I guess uh, you could call a, a, a D. It's it's not. It's actually an F, but we'll call it a D. D and uh, a B note, and that would be an F sharp. Then you have the open string of the third string. That's it right there. So now we'll go 
to the right hand, the right hand picking pattern. Um, this is really the key to the whole song, is, is how you pick with uh, your right hand. Um, if anyone, if you're familiar with the, the kind of style that I play, I use a pick and I use, I use my fingers as well. So um, even uh, just an open chord here, uh, the key is keeping the bass pattern going. keeping that picking pattern going and I'm using my other fingers to, to play notes. So so usually what I do is I use mostly my my uh, on my right hand my second and third fingers and I also in some chords will use my fourth finger in this instance like that. So on a full chord I would use uh, I would use my fourth finger as well. What's going on on my left hand is not very difficult there at all. That that whole sound is all really in the right hand picking pattern and uh, you know, it's quite common. A lot of people use it. Some people use a thumb pick. Some people just use their thumb. I've always felt most comfortable uh, with, a, with a, a pick and my fingers, sort of like the, the country days. I feel like it gives me personally the most freedom to get around uh, doing whatever it is I want. So it allows me to play single notes. It allows me to play, um, you know, just a lot of straight picking stuff too. Right? fingers are there to use them as, as you wish so again so there's the melody the melody is that's the melody so that is all taken by the the, uh, the third finger so I go slow that part down a little bit more. So that last section again. So I, I think that pretty much uh, that pretty much covers it. So uh, thank you again for for all the emails and for for asking for the song. And uh, I'm Steve Strongman. Uh, please go to my website, stevestrongman.com, and uh, stay tuned. More videos to come. Thanks.